Welcome back to another episode of the Canon on the Boomer Bus channel. I'm your host Terry, and today doing a Canon quick shot, a quick review of a non comic book or superhero movie. I'm your host Terry, and today doing a review of Jumanji the Next Level. So I finally went to go see this Jumanji, the sequel to last year's Jumanji, uh, the reboot, reiteration, or whatever, uh, starring The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Karen Gilliam. So, um, this is the sequel to that, and uh, man, I liked it. I, I really liked it. I, you know, I struggle. I don't know if it's um, exactly on par with the first one, or maybe a little better. But either way, I, it was really solid. I really enjoyed the movie. Um, you had a really nice concept going into the first Jumanji uh, with the Rock and everybody. That once I heard it, it was funny because. Once they described what it was, I was like, dude, that's genius. This movie is going to work, especially with this cast. And a lot of people were still poo-pooing it. Because, you know, whenever they announce a type of reboot, a requel, whatever, people just poo-poo it. And so people poo-pooed it, which I understand. But once they told me what the movie was going to be about... I was like, no, dude, that sounds really, that's going to work. They would like, once you said the game is going to evolve, I'm like, yes. But then a lot of people still poo pooed it. And then we got the trailer and that's when people were like, yeah, and yeah. And then it reached almost a billion dollars. And it's funny because I, I was like, dude, I enjoyed it. Look, I went to go see Jumanji in a, uh, all black neighborhood. People was packed in there. It, it was laughs the whole time. I'm like, yeah, this 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 is going to do a lot better than people think because there's the moviegoers. But then when you start capturing the audience outside the moviegoers, you know, the families, the uh, parents, the, uh, you know, different minorities, that's when, you know, the movie's going to do well and then they end up doing well. But anyway, so they come back with this. I like the concept, but I'm not going to lie. I was a little worried. I was like, what, why do a sequel? What are they going to do this time that doesn't feel like the first time? Because it was very much not even the avatars, but the kids. It was very much like, look, they're going through things and they, you know, like Jumanji is, they need this journey to discover themselves. And so I, when they heard a sequel, I was like, okay, look, the cast was great. They made so much money. Obviously, you could do some magic Jumanji stuff. Another group of kids find it or a group of whoever, and then you do it that way. I was fine with that. But once they said it's the same kids, I was like, that makes no sense. But it worked out. It worked out. You, I mean, of course, they didn't do the exact same thing. They had to add Danny DeVito, Danny Glover. But overall, it was a bit of a retread of the first one with a little bit of amped up stakes, a little bit of amped up action, a little bit of expansion of the game. All those things was fun. And look, I'm not a big gamer, but I love games. I just I, I'm not a 2019 20 type of gamer. But I, I follow I, I follow stuff enough to recognize the tropes they put in there. And I'm like, look, this feels like a game. Like, like much like I say, the Mandalorian TV show feels like game. This feels like a game. And so, uh, despite the different twists and turns in the narrative plots, it still feels like one of these games. And so, I absolutely love that part about it. The fun part about it. I love seeing these uh, actors, and that's one big uh, thing you have to get over. Besides Karen Gillian, all the other people are very big names that you know and recognize and larger than life. And so the only thing you can really do is have them stretch their ability by playing a different type. And they did that well. Uh, I thought the story was well. They touched slightly. I feel like they use it as a premise, but they touched slightly on a very serious issue. Again, I'm in the college administration game so uh just thinking about um the depression of a, a kid transition or student transitioning into college is very real but they use that as a jumping off point to why he would want to go back to jumanji and they didn't explore that as much and i thought 
especially with uh I forgot his name, but the main actor uh that plays Spencer, he came off of hereditary where people really were applauding his acting ability. And I just thought, you know, especially I think Kevin Hart too got a little more clout in his acting ability, so is the rock. And of course Karen Gilliam got a lot of heat from Endgame. I'm just like, I thought it would be nice to explore the, the drama a little more, but they knew what it was. It was an action adventure comedy, so I'm not mad at it. So, but anyway, overall, I thought Danny DeVito or The Rock's impression of Danny DeVito was a lot better than I thought. I saw some people hating on it, but honestly, I hated on it in the trailer. But when you watch Danny DeVito prior to The Rock and the, at least the way Danny DeVito's playing his character, because a lot of people are like, that's not Danny DeVito. And he's not playing Danny DeVito. He's playing the character that Danny DeVito is playing. And so uh, watching the way Danny DeVito took on the character and seeing that translate to The Rock was absolutely great. And then the same thing with Danny Glover. It was some good writing. I don't think anything was absolutely amazing, but it was all pretty fun. And so I really enjoyed myself. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this a 85 out of 100. I'm going to give it a solid B. Uh, go to comment section if you've seen Jumanji Next Level. Uh, tell me what you thought. If you want to see it, tell me what you're looking forward to. Thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for listening.